Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my tiny 12 by 12. Today is the perfect example of an epic freaking fail, but it's a lesson learned and something you should know. So what I just did is I just um, moved the trellis from one side of the garden to the other and this is the last entryway video you guys are going to see because it's pretty much done everything is sprouting up and the last thing i needed to do was the trellis we decided not to do an arbor because i actually have grapevines and mulberry that i want to do on the opposite sides because of sorry i'm tired because of the direction of the sun so this made more sense to just move this and then have the mulberries on the opposite side so that they have more room to grow and that is going to be wood so i'm going to finish this up and it was important that you guys see in this video before you guys see the container series because um if you if i show you the container series you're going to be like wait but that's not like that or you know what i mean so it was important that this one came out first and then the milk container series comes out um after this one so let me finish this up now i'm tired okay so as you guys can see i removed the arch the really pliable arch that i made inside of the white container to the left i made that a couple of months ago i bought another one and i had it um, on the opposing side and so i decided to move it and bring it to the front um entryway i know you guys are so sick of this entryway and i am too once this is done <laughs> i will be done with my entryway and you won't see another video until you see an actual tour um which it will be early summer probably and so what i decided to do is bring it over here and i thought that it was going to be really easy for me to like maneuver into this container but unfortunately it wasn't it was a pretty windy day and i think that had a lot to do with it i was also very tired and so my muscles weren't really giving <laughs> like they were supposed to give now before somebody comes for my hair in this video i know i should have put my hair up okay i don't need you to say it in the comments i'm very aware that my hair should be up anyways um so i was trying my hardest to um kind of position i guess this wire mesh into the container because as you can see it went everywhere on the opposite side and i just think that it would have been so much easier if my husband was here to help me or one of my community members because it was very difficult i tried to put rocks in the inside on the bottom and it was just a fail so when you are using this or you are trying to be as affordable as possible make sure it's still functional like when you're doing something in your garden sometimes you'd rather just pay for something like a trellis so now what i'm doing is i just attach these two holes on here they're recycled and i'm just adhering them with this wire so I'm going to do that up the whole thing on both sides. So again, I'm just filling up the container like you would any container, hoping that this wire mesh would stay. And it stays a little bit. I do get it to stay, but it just is not giving the look that I'm going for. And honestly, that's something you guys should think about when you are gardening. Like, you should have some sort of gardening budget. And if you're working on a zero budget, then when you're designing your garden on a zero budget, make sure that you have all the tools necessary to do all your little projects. Like, for me, I could have easily went on OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace to get some wood or you know i could have designed this trellis better and so this was just a lesson learned i tried to do it really quick so that i could be done with this um i just didn't want to deal with the front part of my garden anymore i'm waiting for all my seedlings to pop up and then i think that'll put a smile back on my face especially after i see how this right side of the garden does because for some reason right there in the front things did not grow well um the beginning of the year so um i, I refertilized the soil and all that as you guys already know um and now what i'm doing here is i just emptied out all the soil so that it wouldn't mix with the wood chips that i have in here 
and I'm trying the same thing again on this side. It looks really wonky and just not neat um, or aesthetic. <laughs> and that's not the look that I'm going for. So this is a fail. When you're using wire mesh, make sure you are very, very aware that you have to have it stable. You need something stable. And these little Costco buckets or containers are not it. You see how it keeps falling down and... Oh, it's just not giving or going to give the look that I'm going for. So, I don't know. Drop a comment down below how you think I could have used this wire mesh better in these containers for it to give the look of an actual entryway arch that I am going for. I know a lot of you have used these wire mesh before, and I did too in a con in the white container, and it was giving. Like, it's so cute in that container. It just didn't work in these. I don't know if they're too flimsy, and I should get, like, actual concrete containers to go right here or what. I don't know. This is a mess, and I know a lot of you guys deal with projects not turning out the way that you want them to turn out too. So drop a comment down below. Let me know. What project you're currently working on? Is it coming out how you want it? Did you plan properly? Are you DIYing it? Are you trying to do it as free and cost effective as possible? Or do you have a garden budget? Because that's the thing too. And I wanted this garden to be like as economical as possible so that the things that I'm doing you guys can do too. But I also have the flexibility to create a garden budget. And so I am actually leaning more towards doing that. Um, just using and creating a garden budget and trying to make it as cost effective as possible so you guys can do these things too but unfortunately I may not be able to just keep going on a, on a almost zero cost for my budget that might not be practical with the look that I'm trying to go for so I don't know I hope you enjoyed this video and all my ramblings and I hope you enjoy the series that's coming up for our milk crates until next time my friends Talk to you later. Bye.